Now we're going to build a new necklace for the character. And this is a piece of geometry that we didn't build in the previous courses. Uh, it's something that we want to add now that we look at it and we think, well, uh, this open area right here on the chest, I think we it could use some ornamentation or something. So we can actually build geometry at this point, and then we can add detail and substance painter versus going in and sculpting it. So let's say that we want to do that. We'll go ahead and take the, the geometry, the body geometry that we have right now, and I'm just going to hide it for now. Um, we have the head geometry in there. That's okay. We can leave that. And so this is the area that I want to use. And I want to use the high body again as a live object. So we'll select it and we will make it live. And we're going to use quad draw again to create this. Now, this is something we could use. Uh, we could bring in some cubes and do this very quickly as well. But then you'd have to kind of move them into position and do all of that. Here, we can draw them directly onto the surface. And so without anything else selected, let's go back into our modeling toolkit, go to quad draw. And I basically just want to draw three squares on top of the chest here in the right area. So I'm going to start here and let's do kind of right in the middle. We'll do here and then kind of right in the middle. And then we'll go ahead and make one kind of like that. And then let's make one, give it some space and we'll do one kind of over here. And again, I want to line in the center. And if you need to turn off the clothing, we can just hide that for now. It's kind of getting in your way. And so something like that. All right. And yeah, let's make our make it a little bit wider. So these are the two are the, are the three kind of pieces for our necklace here. So once we've got this done, we can turn off quad draw and then we can treat these just as regular polygon objects. Let's go ahead and turn off our live surface. Go back here and I'm going to turn off the layer here. So we're just working with this now. I'm going to go to a poly modeling shelf. Let's go to our multi cut tool. I'm just going to add a line right in the center. So holding down control and shift will enable you to add a line right in the middle there. Now let's take these points on the corners. Okay. So all of the corners of this, let's go to edit mesh and we're going to come down to chamfer vertices and let's open up the options. And I want to remove the face after the chamfer. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we can change the width. So let's do maybe something like, I think 0.25 or well, maybe that's a little bit too much. Maybe 0.2 is going to be good. All right. Now we've got end gons here. I like the shape, but uh, I don't want to have any end gons. And so I'm going to go back in to my multi cut and I'm just going to come down from these corners to the center and back up, do the same thing here and back up and do that all the way around. And then I'll do the same thing on the middle one back down and then here to the middle and back up. So we end up with something like that. Now let's go ahead and hit, go back to object mode, control E to extrude and let's add some thickness to these. So we'll kind of pull the thickness out this way. Let's remove our divisions. We end up with something like that. Now I want to add a sort of necklace piece that comes around the piece that kind of com combines it together. And so we can do that just by simply adding a torus and let's bring the torus up into position. Let's go to its creation parameters. We'll increase the radius, rotate it so that it's in a better position. We want it to kind of penetrate through the top of these. So we'll decrease our radius a bit. Let's take down our section radius as well. So it's a little bit thinner. And this is our game geometry. We don't need all that resolution. So let's change our subdivisions uh, along the height down to something like six or eight. All right. And then we can take our points, hit B to go do soft select. We can open, open up our tool properties or tool settings. Let's increase our fall off radius to maybe a five. And it, it'll depend to maybe 10. And it'll depend on your scale. Um, what this value is. And we'll go ahead and pull this down a little bit. Let's grab these, pull them up. And then here, I'm going to just bring this back in like that. So it's, it's kind of sitting more on the surface. Okay. And then we can turn our clothes back on if you want to kind of see that. 
So now we've got a little bit more detail in there that we can add some texture to. It can be part of our gold pieces and uh, do it very quickly using quad draw. Again, you could go ahead and create cubes and bring them up in there just like that uh, in the same way as well. All right, so now that we've got that, the next thing that we wanna do is build the low res, the game res medallion. And so we'll do that next. 